Hey all, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to update the apps on your Ledger Nano X. If that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. One thing I also want to point out too, at the beginning of the recording of this video, I wanted to show you how to update the firmware, but I had already done that on my Nano X, so there wasn't a new update available. But if you are curious, the banner will pop up on your Ledger Live for you, letting you know that there is a new firmware available for your Nano X. So just wanted to make that clear in case you guys came here to this video to see how to update the firmware. I'm gonna show you how to update the app, so let's move forward here. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and uh, open up Ledger Live. Perfect, there we go. So then go ahead and type in your password. And once it pops up here, you're gonna see that it's gonna start synchronizing all of your transactions on the different blockchains that you're a part of. Um, in this case here, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just come on down to my ledger because we wanna update the firmware if there's an update. Uh, forgive me on the weird uh, cabling here. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay. All right, we're now in, but then I need to put in my four digit pin. So go ahead and do that. Go ahead and select the check mark. All right, you can see that we're in now here. Make sure we're in focus. All right, it is loading. Okay, and now you're gonna do allow a secure connection with Ledger, push both buttons. Okay, so you can see all the different uh, crypto blockchains that I have, or as the official term is, apps here on my Nano X. Um, your device is genuine. I've got 2.1.0. Um, so I don't have a firmware to update here, but I do have Ethereum that needs to be updated, my application here on the Nano X. So let's go ahead and update that. And there we go. We are updated here on our Nano X. Um, let me show you just, if you just want to filter by the apps that are installed, so you can see I have these five different ones here, okay? If you want to install some more apps, just go to App Catalog. You know, you could select XRP to install. You could do Dogecoin, Polymatic, Polygonmatic, sorry guys for the crew out there. Uh, you could do Avalanche, Cosmos, and the list goes on and on. So you can see I still have quite a bit of room left on my Nano X that I could fill more applications with if I wanted to, but I don't need to, but feel free to make a choice as you deem and desire. Um, if you had installed a, a, an application here, I just wanna show you this here real quick, just as a reminder, and let's say you freshly put on that new app, you also need to do add account. So you need to select add account here. Let's do like Polkadot, for example. All right, and so then it's gonna say, open up the Polkadot app, do both buttons says here that it's ready here on the Nano X. It's loading here on the computer. Synchronizing. I probably already have one or two uh, on here already. Polkadot 2. So it's create. Yeah, so I have already have one there. It's grayed out, as you can see. Um, it's already in the portfolio. I can add a new one. I could rename it whatever I want. Do add account. Boom. And we're ready to go. I don't want to do another one, but that is there and available. And if you're just curious about your firmware or software version, obviously your firmware is gonna be right here. It's gonna show you if you're up to date. But if you wanna see about the software, um, just go to the gear icon at the top. You're gonna to come to about, and then right here, version Ledger Live 2.57.0. You can see the details in terms of what was the most recent fixes. Um, we are good here. It is up to date. You will see a banner pop up at the top of your Ledger Live up here saying, hey, there is a new update available. Make sure to update it. Um, but right now you can see mine is updated and just fine. And that is how you update your Ledger Nano X. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer you in a timely fashion or find the answer for you. I like doing that for all the community here. And if you wouldn't do me a favor, like this video and then subscribe to my channel. I'd be most thankful for you to do that. So anyways, guys, until next time, I will see you when I see you.